Hello, um, it's time for my five month update since my gastric bypass surgery. And uh, I've already filmed this once. I took a walk down to the lake and filmed it there, but it was so windy today, so um, it's very annoying the sound and I can hardly hear anything well you can hear it but it's so annoying it's possible that I will insert some of the pictures um, from that because it was a beautiful day it's a beautiful day you know it's a beautiful it looks very beautiful but it's also very noisy <laughs> um, so five months and where am I today um, I feel very good you know i i'm good with everything i am weight wise i am plateauing a bit now uh so i have not lost that much weight in the last well f for a few weeks like a month or so i haven't lost that that much i've lost a little but it's not much at all and i am working on being okay with that uh because um all the reports and everything from from um people who have done this and from doctors and from everything they say well you will plateau you the everyone does this and um yeah i'm okay with it i am uh but if it keeps being like this i must do something uh to there is something i must change if i um want to kind of get it all started again but it might be that i'm just that i just have to kind of sit this plateauing out and um, yeah we'll see um yeah so that's about it with that i feel good i'm not cooking very much i'm quite bored with cooking i think it's a bit boring but i did co uh, cook a lot for my viking group last week um i was in the viking village for most of the week and i am the cook there uh i am the one who who uh, kind of controls the food <laughs> there and that was fun and it was everything was okay and it was really fun but you know when i'm cooking for a lot of people i'm almost enjoying the organizational um the organizational parts more than the actual um the actual cooking part i like the cooking part because i like the challenge and that's historical cooking and i do quite a lot of historical cooking um in the last few years it has mostly been viking age cooking um but i've cooked a lot of different eras so uh and that was fun and also of course everyone not everyone but i got a lot of comments on my looks because we haven't had a big you know like a big event like this one in like six months or so we have had a couple of smaller ones but not a big one like this uh so of course i got a quite a lot of comments and that's okay of course people are completely allowed to to say what they see you know um what i'm quite pleased with and what what i kind of like in my reaction with uh, my reaction to that is that i actually don't value it i don't put any value it's not bad it's not good it's just yes it is and this is where this is uh, where i'm supposed to be everyone likes you oh you're so small i haven't seen you this small in decades you know and if the ones who have known me for de decades and i 
And I was like, yeah, that's true. That's true. And, um, but for me, it's quite important if you look at one of my first videos and on this journey where where I spoke just the day before the surgery about why I'm doing this and 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 my reasoning about everything it's still quite important to me to also honor the one I was you know and also not think that I'm a better person now because I'm not I'm the same person uh, <laughs> I'm the same person I have the same attitudes to things and I I just eat a bit different and and look a bit different I look an, <laughs> like an older version of me from 15 or 20 years ago no not 20 years I was even thinner then uh, but yeah so um yeah that's um uh, about it about the five month update uh i don't know if there isn't very much more uh there might be a video from my viking week um but i kind of has to ask permission uh, so we'll see if that one pops up uh we'll see uh, i did film a little it's not it will not be many minutes because it's kind of a thing where we say that whatever happens there stays there and people are supposed to be um we are not uh, you you have to be allowed to make a fool of yourself there and not risk having that being published and um and um presented in uh, on the social medias so um that's why we kind of don't uh film or photograph that much when we are there uh, not when the party is in full flare it's another thing when you're just filming there and filming the house and the and the tents and the the camp and and and, and everything when there's not that much people but when the party is in full flare, we usually don't photograph and film and publish that. Uh, so we'll see if there will be a video. Uh, it might be. We'll see. But I feel good. I um, I do have to... Uh, oh, shit, my arm. I will have to... Um, kind of come back to my exercise routines i haven't done that uh in all summer actually because i had my uh, appendix surgery in may and then i wasn't allowed to go swimming and then i uh, then the bathhouse closed for a couple of weeks uh, they always do that in the beginning of June to um, to make some reparations and, you know, renovations and things like that. So, uh, but and after that, I never kind of got back to it, uh, got back to it. Um, one part is because I don't want to do the extra drive. Since my move, I live further away from from uh the bathhouse so i don't want to i don't want to do the extra driving you know um it's not good for the environment and it's not good for my wallet uh but i will have to get to it uh because i have to start exercising more i am st probably starting to work a bit i'm back at my uh, i will be back at my old job uh for just a couple of hours a week that's good for my wallet and that will also be a reason for me to go to town and then i can do the exercise and go swimming uh, while i'm in town so that's that would be perfect but we'll see about that i have been able to start riding again 
um you know i couldn't that i couldn't write that much during the spring since i had two surgeries and also my horse got herself a foal uh so she uh, i couldn't ride in the beginning of the summer but we are back uh, on the roads again and if i can find my gopro i will um actually film one just put the camera on my helmet and and uh, just take you along on a ride uh but we'll see i will have to find it and kind of spark life <laughs> into it i don't know where it is because i've been mo i moved you know and my stuff are still packed away uh, elsewhere so uh, i will just have to find it there's no still a bit of chaos chaos here not nearly as much chaos you see just a bit uh, <laughs> i just I just dug out there. I dug out two of my frying pans. I haven't had a frying pan since I moved in because it wasn't in, in all the moving luggage, you know. So I just used my wok. And that's not the same. A wok is really good, but it's not the same as a frying pan. So now I've dug out two, my, two of my uh, frying pans. So that will be good. Well, that's about it. A uh, five-month update. Um... I'm fine. I'm plateauing. We'll see how much I need to adjust to actually get the weight loss going again. But but uh, if I have to do anything at all, we'll see. Yeah. Bye.